Hey everybody, so this video is going to be about how we create a REST client in Python. In other words, how do we call a REST service using Python? And Python makes this pretty easy to do, so um, you'll see that it's just in a few lines of code that we can do this. Just as a reminder, um, this service is uh, running locally. It's a C Sharp um, REST server that I built. And there's other videos out there in this playlist about that, if you're interested. A couple of things to note here. Um, well, let's just let's just do a quick look here. We can we can um, get back a list of people in our database. Essentially, what we have here is a is a table. And let's just start there, I guess. Let's start the lowest level. So we have two records in here. Each record has an ID, first name, last name, pay rate, start date, end date. I've got a couple of fictional ones in there, as you can see. And so um, today we're mainly going to be looking at rest get, the get verb, on how we get data. And that's all done through the person controller. And so essentially what we're going to be doing is calling uh, through a rest call to get the data back. And then we'll go ahead and display it in Python. So before we start, we're just going to go ahead and, f and start this up, and we're going to we're going to try this in Postman. So this lets us test to make sure that everything's working the way we expect it to. And our web server is running out there, and it looks like this, which which makes it look like it's not really um, doing things very well, but in reality, it is. And the API to go get something is this. So this will go get all the people from the database. So localhost 19885, which is this URL right here, uh, slash API slash person. So that's how we have this set up. And I'll go ahead and send that. And you'll see that, sure enough, it comes back with two uh, JSON objects for the two people that are in the database. So what we're going to do is write a Python REST client that will do the same thing, except it's going to turn this, instead of just having it be JSON text, it's going to turn this into Python objects that we can actually use. So we're going to focus on get in this video, and then we'll do post, put, and delete in a, in a subsequent video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm using PyCharm. Uh, it's a free IDE from JetBrains, um, nice tool, the people that make IntelliJ. So uh, this is a nice Python environment, it'll let you debug. There's other Python uh, source code editors out there and tools you can use, including Visual Studio Code. I'm using this one under Anaconda, actually. So I have um, PyCharm installed under the Anaconda Navigator. This is what I use for all of my Python machine learning development. So let's get started. What I have right now is a Python program that just simply says hello. So there it, there it is. Um, the very first thing that we need to do is, is define which URL we're going to call. So we're simply going to say um, it, is, it is essentially what's over here in Postman. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this. Drop this in right here. So that's the URL that we're going to call for our get. And we need, uh, oh, there's a couple of things I need to make you aware of. So this, um, this web service, this REST web service has got two kinds of authentication on it. It has an API key that you have to provide in the header. So this value has to be passed through or, or else it will not allow you to use the API. And the other thing is there is a, um, a user ID and password authentication that has to happen. And that's this, in this authentication filter here. And I've got this hard coded to a username of Jack and a password of Joan. So we're going to have to pass. This isn't just as simple as making a get call. We're going to actually have to set headers and set authorization, which is a more real world example of how you would really do this anyway. So let's go ahead and get started. So instead of printing hello here, 
we're going to go ahead and start off with um, uh, the first thing we need to do is import requests. So we'll do import requests. And we're going to also use the JSON library, uh, import JSON. Now this gives us everything we need to interact with a web server and to, and to manipulate and parse JSON. So very powerful tools there. So let's start with um, just getting a response. So the response, uh, which I'll just call RES, all we do to make the call is from the request library call the get. So this will do um, uh, rest get for us, passing it the URL. And if we didn't have authentication that was needed, we could just stop there. And it would just go out and do the get and bring the data back. But because we have authorization, we need to say auth equals requests. Dot. Now you could obviously set this up in separate code, but I've kind of running it, I'm running it all together here. So we're going to, this is just basic authentication and we're going to pass the user ID and password. Okay, so we have auth, which is a parameter, equals request.auth. .http basic auth. This is again all built into the request library. Uh, Jack Jones. And then we also have to pass that API key as a header. So we're going to say headers is equal to, and the syntax for this is simply API key. Colon. And then we need our API key and I'll uh, again, I'm going to go copy and paste this so I don't mess it up. So, jumping back over here. And that was in our API. Uh, code, so let's go grab that. And drop that in right there. Okay. And it's complaining about some missing white space in PyCharm, so I'm just going to tell it to do a reformat, which will clear all those little warnings up. Okay, so we've got that. Now, what we want to do is check to see what the status code is coming back. So if res.statuscode, we, we're looking for a 200. Um, that means that everything was okay. Then we can just print... The response, you'll see that this isn't going to do a whole lot, but let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. And sorry, it's status underscore code. It's a good catch. So it ran, didn't print anything, so, uh, but we're going to go ahead and use PyCharm and debug into this so we can actually see what it's doing. So let's go ahead and uh, hit the debug button up here. Again, really nice tool for developing in, in Python. So we're stopped right here on a breakpoint. We can go ahead and now examine RES or response. And uh, you can see here in the text part of that. Um, well, you can see the URL um, and everything in here. So, um, looks good, I think. And so we will, uh, here's the raw, if you're interested in looking at that. And we're getting back in unauthorized, so... I've got something wrong in what I'm passing here, so let's take a look at that. And it's because I spelled uh, Jack Jones wrong. So our status code actually should be a 401, which it is. So again, the authorization on the service is working, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this and rerun it. 
and this time we'll see a response of a 200. And down here in the text, we will see, as we expect, a bunch of JSON right down here. So that's great. We could go ahead now and use that, but that's not very useful to us. So we're going to actually serialize that into an object. And so uh, we already know what our object looks like. It's over here in uh, the Solution Explorer. We have a, a person class. So let's see, where'd that go? Right here in models. And basically this is our, this reflects what's in the database, but essentially you have an ID as a long, last name, first name, um, a strings, pay rates, a double, start date, end date is date times. So let's go ahead. We're going to, we're going to take a bit of a shortcut here and just basically say, um, the, the thing to understand as to what's coming back with this response object when we use request is that um, the result is going to be um, a list. And each item in the list is a, diction is a Python dictionary. And so what we need to do is take each one of those items and turn them into an object. And so we're going to do that by first setting up a class. And we are going to pass to it an object. So we're not going to do this the same way we did it in C Sharp. We're going to actually have it basically hydrate and parse the JSON for us. So we're going to create a constructor here that takes data. And then inside of that, we're just going to say self dot, and uh, this will turn this into an actual object, which you'll see, which is really cool. Okay, so there's, um, so we're going to call this, passing it the, one of these JSON chunks. So remember, it's a list of JSON dictionaries. So we're going to pass it a JSON dictionary. It's going to then turn around and create the object with all the fields in it based on that JSON. So it will automatically put a last name field, a first name field, and put the values in accordingly. So uh, what we want to do here is uh, if the status code is a 200, this probably would have helped us out before, but let's go print the status code if it's not. So we've got that going on. We can go back and Let's go back and try this again with uh, with an invalid user password. And so we get an authentication error. And then if I go ahead and put that in, we get a response 200. And we're all good. And so what we're going to do now is... Um, well, let me just show you the type that's coming back. So first of all, the type of the response, let's just print that. Let's run that. And so it is a request models response. And then if we say, give me the JSON of that, let's see what that says. And that says it's a list. And then if I take the first item in the list and see what that is, that should be a dictionary, which sure enough it is. So we're going to take advantage of the fact that Python handles all this for us. And we're simply going to say for item in uh, res.json. So in other words, for each item in the list, we know each one of those is a dictionary. So we can simply create a new person object and pass it item, which is the JSON. So now what we have is a fully hydrated object. And um, we can print person dot first name. Even though nowhere in this code does it say anything about first name, it it's again re remember it's constructing that based on um, based on this code up here. 
So that's how it gets constructed. I'm going to set a breakpoint down here and we'll go ahead and debug this so we can see what's going on. So um, here we are. And here's our item, which is a dictionary. You can see right here it says dictionary. And it's this. And um, let's step over. Now we have a person object. And look at, and, and you'll notice there it is. There's our nice object with everything filled in for us. And then we'll just go ahead and print that. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the continue button. And it should print two names out in the console right here. There they are, Bilbo and Frodo. And that's it. It's pretty straightforward and easy to use Python to call REST. And so again, another video will talk about how you can do post put uh, and delete. So uh, please like and subscribe the videos. That helps keep these going. Uh, also, please comment if you've got any suggestions or questions. And I'll get to those comments as soon as I can. I have quite a few out there that I have to manage. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this and hope it was useful for you. Thank you.